Hello everybody, this is Toys R Us and for this third party figure showcase and review we're going to be looking at the Doctor Wu. This is Iron Jack, which is a third party MicroMaster scale version of of course Generation 1 Wheeljack. So we're going to do a couple of comparisons with his original and his latest one to date self. We'll have a look at the entire contents of the packaging for him. We're going to bring in some other smaller figures and vehicles just to give you an idea of size and scale as well. So before we get started, let's mind anybody who's not subscribed to the channel, if I'd hit that subscribe button for me now please because it really will help me out and the other thing is to thank show z which is where i purchased this from and as you can see i've left a link in the description for you to get one for yourself so he comes packaged with a shattered glass version of inferno which will be put up in his own separate review the packaging is brilliant the artwork is lovely again because it's dr Wu and he transforms he's not licensed by hasbro otakara so they can't use the real name there's the robot mode which we're going to see in a second you can see he comes packaged in a clamshell in his alternate mode so let's move that out the way as well i'm probably gonna have to zoom in in a second now the transformation process for such a small thing is again quite intricate the 16 steps you may have noticed i've already uploaded a separate video anyway uh, but here's his collector's card iron jack and then there's a little bit there if i bring this here you can pause it and then you can read that at your leisure he even comes with a tiny accessory which is great considering how small he is i've lost focus now because of how small it is right there we go so if i just stand him like that for now to give you an in fact yeah to give you an idea of how small he is there's a world's smallest takara that's the official world's smallest takara optimus that's a dr Wu optimus this is one of the earthrise micromasters you'll i'll do this again in robot mode don't worry but i'm just giving you an idea as i say of just how tiny he is so for instance there you go that's a cassette uh, from the new acoustic blaster so it's not even as big as that uh, there's the original generation one and every time i do videos like this it just upsets me because i realize that they don't look anywhere near as white as i thought they were um, there is your, that's a New Age Huffer, that's a Takara, no it's not, it's a Dr. Wu Optimus Prime, that's the Hot Wheels Bumblebee, and funnily enough, just because he's knocking around as well, there's a G1 Buzzor, so you can hopefully see him get an appreciation for just how tiny these figures are. In fact, one last one, he's hiding on the back of Prime, there is the Roller from Menasaur, so the G1 thing figure. So again, absolutely tiny. So I'm gonna keep this in just to give you a quick idea as I say of how clever it is. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab the legs, we're gonna pull both of them all the way down. You can then bring the feet out. Uh, then with the back, we're gonna separate the spoiler, like so. This is quite, well, we'll turn the spoiler around first, but then we need to separate the back these tab in ever so well and if you've got no nails like me at the moment it's really difficult to then pull these out at the side and then take the back off as well so pull these right down out of the way spin this around 180 degrees make sure nothing's getting in the way what mine typically is take the front bring this up oh don't forget to bring the head up first obviously bring the head out first bring that over and tab that in and now it's a case of turning the orientation round at the bicep, bringing the arms down enough so that you can then attach the shoulder cannon as well, which is a brilliant, brilliant little addition. Um, and that's, I mean, that's quite intricate for that sort of size. More steps, as I say, than the MicroMasters that we're used to, uh, original figures, and indeed, of course, the new updated ones. Let me zoom in a little bit now because I want you to be able to see him properly. Let's get rid of the Motor Master Roller. Right, so you can already see that there's beautiful detail there on the head sculpt. You can turn it, yep, you can. You can turn it around. You can have it looking up and down. It's fully articulate. The uh, shoulders are ball and sockets. They'll go all the way around. They'll go out to the side. You can lift them up as well. Yes, it's part of the transformation process, but they will move. The wrists will swivel around as well as flexion at the bicep. We've already seen that there's a waist swivel. You've just got to slightly detach this if you want to do it because of course that is the transformation process the legs so the hips are on ball and sockets there's still a knee bend which is great and the ankle will tilt rock roll everything so for an absolutely tiny little figure it's genius and that's why i love these and every time i do these reviews i'm going to say the same thing until hasbro or takara listen to me i would love it if they would do it themselves reinvent 
or just restart the world's smallest Takara uh, toy line. Not necessarily with the MicroMasters, which we've had and hadn't done very well. Do the mainline figures exactly like these, because I'm sure that they'll sell very, very well. There's another doc. So that's the Takara one. Um, this is an official Takara one as well. That's obviously Starscream. So you can see they've already pretty much done it, or they did it years and years ago. So they're all, them two are official, old and new. That's, I've already done him. Let's bring in Dr. Wu Sea Spray. Let's bring in, what else have we got here? Just again, to give you an idea, there's your normal standard core class Optimus Prime, which is huge compared to that. Um, you won't be able to see her head, but that's core class RC from the main line as well. So yeah, nice and nice and small. I'm knocking figures over everywhere here now, just to try and bring some in to give you an idea of how big he is. In fact, the wheel jacks, this is what I need to do, but I'm gonna have to pan out for you. So there is your most recent to your oldest original wheel jack figures. And I'm sure you'd agree he stands, you know, he stands just as good as them. And again, probably with the same amount of articulation, if not far off it, to be honest. There you go, guys. That is your Dr. Wu's take on a generation one wheel jack figure called Iron Jack. Let me know what you think in the comments. Take care.